there is only one satellite orbiting Earth. Hmm. Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about how many satellites orbit Earth. I just said there's only one. Is that actually true? Well, kinda. A satellite is an object that orbits another object. Now, there are two kinds of satellites. There is a natural satellite, and then there are artificial satellites. So yes, Earth only has one natural satellite, and that's our moon. <laughs> so artificial satellites, these are an entirely different story. These are the machines that we build and send into space, and there are thousands of them all around the Earth. They aren't all at the same height, though, or in the same orbit. Some are above, some are below, and there are three main levels above Earth, which we call Leo, Neo, and Geo. Leo means low Earth orbit and is everything below 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles above Earth, like the International Space Station. Neo is medium Earth orbit and is everything from 2,000 kilometers to 36,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles to 22,000 miles above Earth. And Geo is geosynchronous or geostationary orbit. Now this is at exactly 35,786 kilometers or 22,236 miles. <laughs> it is at this altitude that an orbiting satellite stays above the exact same spot as Earth rotates. So it is orbiting at the speed that matches the rotation of the Earth. So it's always above the same spot. And anything else above this is considered high Earth orbit. <laughs> All right, now we've got these orbits. But how many satellites actually are there? Where are they? And what do they do? Well, recent counts in the mid 2020s say there are about 6,000 satellites around Earth, but only about 40% are operational. So that's only what, 2,700 working satellites and the rest are just space junk. That's a lot of space junk. We're gonna deal with space junk in an entirely different video. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on about that 2700 number of those operational satellites. So, of those, where are they? Well, we got about 2000 in LEO, low Earth orbit, 150 in MEO, and almost 600 in GEO. Then, there are almost about 60 in elliptical orbits, which means they get closer and then further away, making an oval, around the Earth, or an ellipse, hence elliptical orbit, rather than a circle that we're used to seeing. So what are these all doing up there? Well, about thousands of them are for communications, so we can talk to each other around the world. About 450 are Earth observations, studying our home planet to learn more about it, to help us with things like climate change. And about 100 are for GPS, or navigation, so we know where we're going and where we are. The rest of them fall into this other, category. It's a bunch of other miscellaneous things. You might think that most of these are either NASA or government satellites, but actually over half of them, about 54% are for commercial or private companies, and only about 16% are for the government. About 13% are military, and 5% are civil satellites. And no, it's not all the United States. We are the leader in satellites by owning 50% of them that are up there, but the rest are spread out around the world, with the next top two countries being China at 13% and Russia at 6%. Now, over the years, more and more countries have put satellites in orbit, and now private companies are sending up a bunch. Planet Labs is a company, and they own about 250 satellites that are up in space. And SpaceX, they have well over 400, and it's probably grown by the time this video comes out. Many more satellites will be going up from both of them and Amazon and many other companies. Soon, we're gonna be looking at launching 1,000 satellites a year into Earth orbit. That's a whole lot of satellites and we're gonna to have to be careful because it's already a bunch of space junk. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of at what temperature does water freeze at is B, zero degrees Celsius. That's 32 degrees Fahrenheit, FYI. Now this week's question is, at what temperature does water boil at? Is it A, 100 degrees Celsius, B, 200 degrees Celsius, C, 
212 degrees Celsius or D, 272 degrees Celsius? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.